Hello, welcome to this episode of Hampton Roads Business Live. My name is Rory Graham and I'm your host. And today I have the pleasure of having with me uh, Doc Al Lewis, who's an herbalist and uh, with the Herbal Pharmacy. That's correct. Herbal Pharmacy spelled F-A-R-M-A-C-Y. <laughs> okay. okay. All right. So why don't you give us an overview of that? What, it, what, what is the Herbal Pharmacy? Well, the Herbal Pharmacy is a pharmacy based on God's herbs, everything that comes from the earth. If you notice, mankind is the only one that takes synthetic medicine. You can't name me one living organism, or, or, organism on the planet that takes medicine other than mankind. And I'm not talking about your cat, your dog, your bird, your turtle, even your fish at home. I'm not knocking it. I will never tell you to stop taking your doctor's medicine. But the whole idea is God said, I give you every herb in the garden for the leaves shall be your medicine. That's the first page of the Bible, mm -hmm. Genesis 129. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. And so how long have you been in this business? Now, I'm going on 30 years. Actually, it's 1989. Uh, it's roughly about, um, about almost 30 years. It's 29 years going on 30. Okay, and um, so uh, you, you, I know you have a radio show. Yes, it's a 1600 AM at Hampton, I'm sorry, uh, 88.1 uh, FM, FM, Hampton University, correct. Okay, all right, mm -hmm. and, and uh, do you speak anywhere else on this stuff? Oh, Top? yes, I've spoken at Centauri Norfolk General Hospital, VCU School of Pharmaceutical Medicine, Centauri Norfolk General Hospital, um, Naval Intelligence twice, um, 5th District Coast Guard on dry land, I call that because it's <laughs> Coast Guard unit on dry land in Chesapeake, um, Florida State University, uh, oh gosh, like I, the list goes on and on, I can't even remember it all, but all that's in the past, it's like God says, what are you going to do now? All right, well, that's a pretty impressive past. <laughs> so, so what are the main herbs that... Um, uh, you need to uh, uh, maintain good health. The funny thing about it is God said I give you every herb in the garden, but now you want to go into, like I go into uh, systems uh, when I use herbs. There's herbs, first of all, the body does not really need the food. The body demands the nutrients from the food. That's where your herbs and so vitamins and minerals and nutrients come, out, come in at. So that's uh, generally fruits and vegetables. Okay, well nowadays uh, the big deal uh, a lot of people think about is cancer. I mean, you, that's a big fear. So what do you have that you would utilize for the big C? Well, the big C has a right to life, just like you and I. Uh, cancer is a predator. Uh, Ebola is a predator. Uh, the ant is a predator. The roach is a predator. The mosquito is a predator. But what did the spider tell the fly? Not up in this house. So the first thing you want to do is keep your system clean. Most people will have a clean car, change the oil and everything, but at the same time, they don't cleanse their main systems, which is digestive system, the cardiovascular system, the urinary system. Bacteria lies in the body. When a person is constipated, you still have bacteria inside of the digestive tract, and it, if you're not moving your bowels on a regular basis, that bacteria grows, and it too has a right to survive. So it's going to, I, I met my wife, uh, you met your wife, what did you make the, the bacteria, we call him John, doesn't meet Mary, and they go ahead and then it gets into the blood system. You have relatives in California and all over the place. Your cardiovascular system can wrap the earth two and a half times. It's over 90,000 miles long. And um, it's like uh, highways. Mm -hmm. And this bacteria can go and it says, well, there's a place I can land and um, make a family here. Spread all over your Spread body. all over. So cancer has a right to life. So, so you're not a lot more generous to cancer than I <laughs> Well, <laughs> so what are the main uh, cleanses that a person should consider using? Well, when you're going into cancers and all, remember it's parasitic and um, there's herbs like the black walnut, the wormwood, even your garlic is very, very good. But then you want to go into blood purifiers, blood cleansers and blood detoxifiers and herbs like anti-inflammatory herbs which can be, oh, good gobs. And for me to just to tell you two or three of them, like the burdock root, the yellow dock root, uh, you know, your, your chaparral, your, your, and, and the list goes on, on, and on. These are herbs that you need to keep your system flushed out and cleansed with. But at the same time, you must take care of the cardiovascular system because that's the lead all. 
and the digestive system. Well, we talked about a little bit about the big C. Now let's talk about the big D, which is diabetes. Well, diabetes the same way. See, and you go into diabetes, then you're going to go into high blood. So you want to stay off of, uh, for diabetes, you want to stay off of sugars. Remember, most of our food, and a lot of carbohydrates, most of our foods that we eat today are synthetic. They are fillers, and they're loaded with sugars and salts and all kinds of stuff. And remember, we don't eat to live. We live to eat as a people because we're dealing with our hormones. The hormone says you see it, you want it, you smell it, you want it, it tastes it, it tastes good, I want it. Even sounds good cooking. And we get caught up on that. And then we just go for it without reading the label, which is telling you all the synthetic stuff that most of the labels will tell you. So people need to learn to read the labels before you eat. God said, if I, gi I give you every herb in the garden, for the leaves shall be your medicine. Go there. Use what he has given to you. No squirrel is suffering with it. Gorillas, chimpanzees, deer, they're not suffering the way we suffer because they eat from the garden. Okay. All right, now I know when we talked um, before the interview, we were talking about inflammation. Yes. And um, so where does inflammation fit into this? Where, where, how do people have it? How do you treat it um, or address it? Mm -hmm. um, and uh, what can you do about it? Well, inflammation, now I'm going into uh, um, um, uh, Chinese theory where we'll use the yin and the yang. We're gonna go into dampness. A booger does not get to the end of the nostril by traveling through the body as a booger. A kidney stone does not get to the kidneys. <laughs> well, I'm well, going there. There's a visual for you. <laughs> That's I'm just straight up. I, I'm, I'm, I can't be more, more straight. A kidney stone does not get to the kidneys by traveling through the body as a stone. We travel in dampness. In the body, there is dampness. And dampness, well, let's put it this way. If you ever made jello on a table, it's warm. It can pour. It can flow. Take the jello off the table, put it in the refrigerator, it cools and congeals. There's your booger. And there's the clots coming out during administration, the flow. Take the jello off the table, put it in the freezer. Now it crystallizes, become uric acid, gout, uh, arthritis, gallstones, kidney stones. Uric acid. It's a buildup. So we need to tonify our blood, how? By warming the blood, how? By invigorating the blood, how? By nourishing your kidneys and nourishing your liver, bringing the body's temperature back to warm, like God made us, all warm-blooded. Okay, so how about arthritis? Arthur. We've covered C and D, let's go back to A. <laughs> okay, author again, another form of uric acid, another form of inflammation. The joint, it's backed up with what? inflammation, inflame, okay? And when you feel the pain, it, the inflammation is now touching, let's say this wall is, a, is electric. I'm good as long as I don't touch the wall. But as soon as I move, the inflammation builds up and now you're feeling the pain. So now we have to go into the body by giving you herbs like yellow dock root, like the burdock root, uh, like this herb called devil's claw, okay? Which these are all anti-inflammatory herbs which will go in and subdue the yin, which is cold, and the dampness in the body, and bring it back to yang, which is warm, or no moment that they say fire, but it's, it's heat, so it warms the blood. How? By tonifying, warming, and invigorating the blood. How about never seeing your two main filters, your kidney and your liver? All right, so, so basically what you, what you offer is an alternative to address a number of different issues that people might be having, and they may want to consider using a natural, um, um, I don't know if you call it a remedy, but a natural uh, 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 compound that could help lessen the symptoms or, or whatever. So. Um, uh, th so that's how people would be. They can ask you about a, sp a particular thing they're having, and you can tell them, you can address which is the proper uh, compound to look at. Yes, we uh, always say you name the problem, we have the herb. If you don't ask questions, that's your fault. But we will never, ever, 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 ever tell you to stop taking your doctor's medicine. You have a choice. But now when we get to, uh, we do a consultation for someone, we will let them know, bring your medicines, 
Let's go through the medicines, look up the side effects at all. Tell your doctor by all means what you're using, what you're doing. If he wants to call us, he can call us, question us and all. This is real. Before medicine, synthetic medicine, was even put on the planet, God gave them the seeds. Mm -hmm. They're eating seedless fruits now. Seedless, uh, seedless peaches, seedless oranges, seedless uh, grapes, seedless watermelons. Come on, the list going on and on and on. Your seeds are more valuable than gold. Right now, believe it or not, you got to say, well, even in New York City, they have their tall buildings. They have lofts up in there and they're growing vegetables and fruits and everything. They, this is real. We're the only living organism on the planet that has to buy food and buy water. Is there, is there, um, is there anything else I haven't covered that you wanted to mention? Well, we're located. We have four locations. Okay. Uh, we're in Norfolk, 4215 Granby Street. The phone number there is... 1-800-651-1298, extension 4. We're in Chesapeake, Virginia. The phone number there is 1128 North Battlefield Boulevard, 1128 North Battlefield Boulevard. The phone number there is 1-800-651-1298, extension 6. We're in uh, Chesapeake, Virginia. Well, I just said that. We're in um, Hampton, Virginia. That's where we have our live talk, talk show at um, Hampton University, and that phone number is 757, uh, uh, what is my phone number there? Yeah, I need my own memory or mixture. Uh, uh, 325, uh, uh oh. Well, just dial 622-5828, 757-622-5828, and we'll make sure that you get the numbers there. I'm mostly in Chesapeake and Norfolk, so I don't okay. often call the shops, but it's there. Right, okay. And we have an email address, which is Herbal Pharmacy, that's H-E-R-B-A-L. Pharmacy is F-A-R-M-A-C-Y, that's F-A-R-M-A-C-Y mm -hmm. at live.com. And we also, um, um, we have a, e that's an email address, we have a, a website address, the whole works, everything. Okay. You can dial, dial those numbers and you'll get us. Okay, all right. And, and of course you have a website because I've been there. Yes, the website. Yeah, is, I, I, the, we'll, we'll put the address on. Okay, there. that's fine. I I'll appreciate save you the trouble. That. Okay. Well, if you have uh, some sort of an ailment, and I mean just about anything, um, and would like a second opinion of, of uh, maybe some alternative that you might consider, mm -hmm. um, you or just have questions, you can give uh, Al a call and. Um, uh, his contact information is at the end of this video and it's also at the bottom of this page and uh, I'm sure he can hook you up as he says he's he you know pick his brain he's uh, he, he's very helpful uh, I know I ask him about several different things so uh, I know the topics range from A to Z or A to D as we <laughs> <laughs> so anyway uh, but actually he uh, a lot more than that so uh, I appreciate you coming in. I wish you a great deal of success. 30 okay. years, that's pretty good. Yes, I also let, let the people know, they say, where'd you get your education? I went to the University of Holistic Theology. Mm -hmm. You can look it up. Okay. Okay? All right, thank you. And I appreciate it. All thank right, you thanks. very much. All right, All right. take All right. care now. Mm -hmm.